Sri Chambojit. Uh, good afternoon from Montenegro from a sunny day. Um, normally I mention this on, on written blog, zajastanblogspot.com, the address. Uh, in here in Montenegro, the, the ethnic, not ethnic, religious population is mostly orthodox, which means they are celebrating. <laughs> They are celebrating, uh, they are using a different calendar which is causing uh, two Christmas and two New Year's here. And uh, for Catholic, uh, Catholic Christians, it's 24th of December and for the Orthodox Christians, it's today. So, Srechan Bozic to Orthodox friends and the followers, of course. Uh, I couldn't find time previously. Uh, normally, I was planning to go to Turkey. I have to go to Turkey to handle a few issues and also pick up some materials what I bought from for for garden. Uh, I was planning to go since April. First, my neighbor had a problem with the heart, and then summer, and then murder, murder of the wound of the manga, then murder of the manga, the kitty, and at the end, I found chance to go. Oh, hold on a second. No, uh, I uh, then I found opportunity to go to Turkey on December at the beginning of the December. Normally, my friends who know me personally, they know that I was a bit uh, nomad. Actually, I was a bit nomad. A lot to travel, a lot discover, a lot. Uh, until I become the mother of the Benek and Hainas, my cat cats, I was traveling like a hell. Just. Give me visa, a passport with visa, and a, a cheap ticket, and I go. Yeah. It, it was such a funny when I was living in Antalya. My friends should take the appointment or inform me a few weeks before if they want to see me on the weekend in Antalya. I was just just traveling all the time. If I'm not traveling abroad, I was going to the mountains to make camping to walk the Lycian way. Anyway, uh, as a sample, on uh, I celebrated my fourth place birthday in Paris with the with Statue of Liberty. Uh, maybe you know that uh, normally the original Statue of Liberty is Amer in America, but the uh, tickets was so expensive. So I chosen the chosen the uh, visit the replica. Actually, as you know, the Statue of Liberty manufactured by the French government and sent to sent to America. So they have the replicas all around Paris all around France, but especially one of them on located on the Seine River. I was there on my 40th birthday and on 41th birthday I was in, I was in, oh my goodness, they are making noise, especially here. Uh, I was in Athens to celebrate with, with uh, goodness Athena and then I became the mother of the Benek and Hylas and I was at home all the time with them. And this year, on my birthday, 5th December, I said, okay, let's go. Uh, on the way, on the mountains, I stopped by, I took candle and lighter with me, and I stopped by a, a lovely mountain. I will add the photos to the zaljastanblogspot.com. And I stopped by, and uh, I blew my, I catch my wish, and then blew my, my candle. So, um... This time, normally I was using Google Maps quite a lot, but this time Google Maps was just a disaster. Why? Um, mostly it didn't work properly. Um, for example, there is a roundabout, you have to go straight, but Google Maps is saying that turn right, go one kilometer and come back to the same route. Why? Uh, in this summer, and, and uh, Pay uh, toll open in Montenegro. Uh, I'm okay to use it, but the problem is the road before and after the, that paid road was disaster. Just a disaster. I will do my best not to use that road again. Uh, I last vomited several times. Several times I stopped the car and cleaned his vomit, the, his face, his fur, the, the, the seat, all were disaster. And I took my knot as of no, I will not use this road on the way back. Uh, normally, I was planning to go through uh, Montenegro, Montenegro, 
Kosovo, Macedonia, Bulgaria. But somehow I found myself at uh, after Macedonia, I found myself at the entrance of the Greece. Okay, thankfully I have my visa. Uh, by the way, if you are uh, if you need visa to be to enter to the Schengen countries like me, uh, normally Bulgaria was the candidate for the European Union, but uh, didn't approve. This means this means. Uh, with a Schengen, with the Schengen visa, you can enter to Bulgaria, but with Bulgarian visa, you cannot enter to uh, Greece or the or the European Union. So, if you need a visa like me, strict advice to take a, a, for that route. Strict advice to take a Schengen visa, not Bulgarian visa. Otherwise, you cannot come through Greece. Uh, and I went to there. Uh, I used approximately one and a half tanks of two of two of the fuel from here from Zagorak to to Istanbul one and a half tanks of the fuel and the payrolls cost approximately 20 euros for me uh, and it was approximately 1350 kilometers from here to there uh, it took one and a half days for me because it's not an easy easy path to drive non-stop you know uh, Lots of places they don't accept pets, or the places uh, which accept pets they are quite expensive for my budget. So uh, I step on the on the safe and more light uh, lighting uh, petrol stations, pass the back seat and step with my kids. Just two hours plus two hours and then stop. Did, did the same thing on the way back. And uh, on the way back, I wish to try. Normally, people were complaining for the route of the Serbia, and I wish to try this one. And I did. I did. Normally, uh, I was planning to come through uh, uh, Greece, Greece, Macedonia, Kosovo, Albania, but somehow Google Maps took me to there again. By the way, I spoke with the husband of my niece in Istanbul and he said that Google Maps uh, is, is using a new algorithm which is uh, routing you to do, to do some exact routes and they are taking the type of the advertising fee, something like that, from the, from the companies on that route. Makes sense. After, after them all, that makes sense. And also, on the entrance of the Turkey, uh, normally, as I mentioned previously, there is no my noisy neighbors. Oh, there's no green plum or or yellow cherry here in Montenegro. And also one of my friends advised me to try to grow uh, artichokes. And also here there's no artichokes. And um, I got in touch with one of the suppliers in Tikirda. Tikirda is one of the city of the Turkey, so close to... Close to borders actually which means has almost the same climate as Montenegro I get in touch with with a supplier from there and uh, he said yes I have I strictly the advice uh, shared uh, his his information on blog Murat Bakan in Tekirda strictly advise him and his products and uh, Normal. There is an international agreement by and between several countries. I don't remember exactly which countries are a part of this this agreement. CITES. What is this? Uh, you cannot move internationally uh, some of the animals or some of the of the plants. Like uh, there is a special breed of the cat in Turkey. One. The name of the cat is one. Um, one eye is green, one eye is yellow, um, blue, I'm sorry, green and, and, and uh, blue. Uh, you cannot take this cat out of Turkey because it's under protection. Uh, or uh, one of the dog breed, it's very big, Kangal. It's not uh, permitted to take it out. Uh, the, the plant of two salep is not permitted. Plant of uh, Şemdinli tulips is not permitted. And they have a long list actually. Uh, so at the entrance of the Turkey, I asked to border officer, border custom officer, as of I wish to take some plants from Turkey to Montenegro, but they are not under protection of the test, just green plum, yellow cherry, etc. And she said, no problem for us. I don't know the Greece, but no problem for us. Okay. 
uh, the road was not good. That's why I wish to take via uh, come via via Greece, but uh, thanks to Google Maps. And I saw the sign of uh, instead of to Ipsala, I saw the signs of Kapukule. Okay. Okay. I drove. And uh, I came through, I drove through uh, Bulgaria, Serbia, Montenegro. The, the weather was terrible. From Belgrade to Montenegro, the weather was terrible. Snowing, uh, fog. Rain, ice, whatever you ask as a nightmare of the Mediterranean person. Uh, as I mentioned previously, I born in Mediterranean part of Turkey and I grew there, which means snow make no sense for us. Even for the chain, the snow chain, first time I touched here in Montenegro, and even I was, I was not knowing how to use it. I asked the husband of a friend, as what should I do? And he showed me how to connect the, the chain, snow chain. Uh, thank to Google Maps, they gave me my nightmares. Uh, normally on the way back, uh, there was a road construction from Serbia border to more or less ex to ex of to of to Rajaye. There was some road constructions. They were using the uh traffic lights for the for the traffic but it was not working anyway i came through i stopped on berane to check the road because of that as i mentioned i didn't want to use that road again uh, and uh, i checked especially on the google maps okay uh, the the path is not passing by that road and uh, somehow again google maps change it and i found myself on that nightmare road with snow uh, on, on the top with lots of snow with lots of fog with lots of rain with lots of ice <sighs> ramp turns whatever you ask is a nightmare i had everything in that drive thank to google maps uh, even one of the idiot from with the with the plate of to a n um, he was he was chasing me actually to, to drive faster than 35 come on it's approximately 30 to 40 centimeter uh, snow on the sides of the road there is no lines only one one line by and between the snows and how can i be faster than 35 30 35 i i with the hope i stop on the right side i hope there's soil not only snow you know I stopped there and I let him go and I clap him. Bravo, fast driver. And approximately 10 minutes later, I saw his signs on the snow actually, with twisting, skiing on the, on the snow. No need to be fast on the snow. To... Anyway, uh, from Montenegro, Turkey, Montenegro. Uh, on the way up to Turkey, I go via Montenegro, Kosovo, Macedonia, Bulgaria, Turkey, uh, Greece, Turkey, sorry, and on the way back, uh, Bulgaria, Serbia, Montenegro. I used approximately three tanks of the fuel. Uh, for the paid rolls, uh, I paid approximately 40 euros. Um, I stopped by the petrol stations to have small sleep breaks with my cat kids. Uh, it took approximately one and a half day up, one and a half day back drive. Um, and now I have green plums. Hopefully they will survive. I planted them. I have green plums. I have yellow cherry. I have artichokes. Uh, I have yellow rosips. Rosips? Yes, yellow rosips, Dreninha. And I have sunshine. Srijan Bozic. Merry Christmas to my Orthodox friends and followers. See you. Bye bye.